So when it comes to the topic that we're going to be discussing, um, how to go from pilot to production, what, what's been the biggest challenge that you found whilst trying to, to do this? Uh, we occasionally come across two common problems that um, we have to get across to really operationalise these solutions. One is the engineering effort. Um, our data scientists are great at writing good algorithms, good solutions, and most of them are also great coders. But engineering something for production requires a different level of engineering rigor to make things really secure, robust, scalable. It's having someone who can solve almost the computer science problem as well as the data science problem. You know, there's no point in having an algorithm that is very expensive in cloud compute, so it needs to be engineered efficiently. Um, and certainly for a lot of our customers, if they're a bank or a pharmaceutical company or almost any industry with customer data, the things have to be secure and reliable. And that engineering rigor um, needs to be front and center and right alongside the data science skill set that you're on the problem. So number one, I think, is just leaving that engineering focus a little too late in the process, and then a lot of things have to be rewritten. So having engineers on the problem on day one is super crucial. The second is more of a a human and product uh, challenge to implement. If I'm building or if we're building a data science solution that's having a meaningful impact on the business, then it's going to really change the way they're making decisions, hopefully to make better decisions. You're not hoping to necessarily cut humans out of the loop, but what you're hoping to do is create uh, a better decision-making process for those humans. And that's going to change the business process. I'll give you an example. Um, pricing, whether you're a hotel chain, for example. You may have today a pricing analyst who is determining the prices for different hotel rooms at different future dates. If you have an optimal algorithm that's giving you the most optimal price to charge for each hotel room at different future dates, you're not making that job redundant, but you're then helping that person almost control the algorithms, so not getting into a bidding war with another hotel. And that whole business process around how that hotel manages prices changes. So it's not a technical challenge, but it's a business process challenge and helping that organization understand how they can incorporate machine learning and AI into that decision making process so they get the best of human and machine. And for us that's a, a product mindset and that's where our product owners really look at what the, the humans and the employees can bring to the solution and how we get the best of their contributions plus the best of an algorithm to really help that business perform optimally.